it's time to check out the Air Max Premium Crepe Pack from 2004. This pack of shoes features three iconic Air Maxes, the Air Max 1, 90, and Burst, decked out in burlap and suede with gulf blue accents and gum outsoles. The pack of shoes is labeled premium because of the premium materials and also the premium price points. These shoes retailed for roughly 25% more than the general release Air Max 1s, 90s, and Bursts from the same era. In 2013, Nice Kicks wrote an article on their favorite Air Max packs. It featured eight different packs and the first one that they mentioned was the premium crepe pack that you're looking at here. Other notable packs were the History of Air Pack, the One Time Only Pack, the Power Wall Pack. Definitely check out that 2013 Nice Kicks piece if you want to read about some really rare and interesting Air Maxes. But in this video, I want to get up close and personal with the Crate Pack, one shoe at a time. So let's break out the brick and break out the first pair, the Air Max 1 Premium Crepe. Unfortunately, it took me a long, long time to find this shoe dead stock in my size. And because I couldn't find it when the shoeseum was up and running, the 90 and the burst were never on display. I refused to display incomplete packs of shoes and it took me years to find this Air Max 1. The shoe's absolutely gorgeous. Check out the brown suede on the upper and check out the burlap right here. A lot of people mistake the uppers of these shoes as being made out of hemp, but in actuality, it's burlap that you see right here on the toe and on the tongue, wrapping around the heel right here. Really, really cool detail. Also, while we're looking at the tongue, have a look at how up at the top, it comes to a stitched seam. Original Air Max 1s from 1987 in the early days had a tongue just like this with this stitched seam. And they kept this all the way up to the History of Air Retro Pack from early 2006. But the modern day Air Max 1 Retros have a more plush and pillowy tongue that doesn't come to this seam. I wish as Nike would retro these Air Max 1s and really all of their shoes if they would keep it more OG the way that the shoes once were. I think the gulf blue swoosh on this shoe really sets it off. It really takes this brown palette and makes it pop. And let's have a look at the air bubble in here. You'll actually notice that the air bubble is colored in brown. Now, originally, Air Maxes did not have colorful air bubbles. That didn't happen until the Air Max 93, which back in the day was called the Air Max 270 because it featured 270 degrees of visible air. But up until 1993, air bubbles were plain and bland. And it's really cool that on this pack of shoes, Nike used colored air bubbles. We saw just a second ago that this one's brown. As we get to the Air Max 90 and the air burst from the pack, we'll see that the air bubbles are gulf blue. Now let's check out this little hang tag right here. You'll see it's got a Nike swoosh on here. And as we turn it to the other side, it says the sole of this shoe is made of 100% natural uncured latex. So let's check out the outsole of this shoe. One of the coolest features for sure. So check that out. 100% natural uncured latex. And the Air Max 1s in this pack are the only shoe that features this outsole. The 90s and the Bursts, as we'll see when we look at those shoes, have a traditional gum outsole. Incidentally, about five years ago, Nike released a pack of Air Max 1 crepes that have the same uncured latex outsole. That pack of shoes is not nearly as desirable as this pair or the other pairs in this pack, but it's worth noting that this is not the only pair of Air Max 1 crepes to feature the natural latex outsole. What a cool detail. I actually wanted to create an exhibit in the shoeseum playing off of the word crepe because this is the crepe pack. We all know that Nike's first innovation was the waffle outsole inspired by the waffle breakfast food. And so I was thinking waffles and then I thought about crepes, a French breakfast food and also a dessert. And I thought it would be really fun to have a waffle exhibit in the shoeseum alongside a crepe exhibit. And I even wanted to get a crepe maker. But unfortunately, like I was saying, I was not able to find the Air Max 1s from this pack when the shoeseum was up and running. So there was no crepe exhibit in the shoeseum. 
We'll move the ones out of the way and let's work to the Air Max 90s, which actually back in the day was called the Air Max 3. It's in this retro era that the shoe's being called the Air Max 90. And look how beautiful this shoe is with the suede upper and the burlap on there. Again, people sometimes think that this is made out of hemp, but in actuality, it's burlap. You'll see that the air bubble is gulf blue in there. Let's check that out, nice detail. And then the outsole, traditional gum, not the uncured latex that we saw before. When we're looking at the upper of this shoe, you'll notice these plastic parts and you'll see the one right up top is starting to yellow. And that's something that's very common for Air Max 90s that feature a white or ivory or lighter shade up there on the plastic parts. And it's such a shame because there's so many notable and desirable Air Max 90s that just go bad over time. The one that I'm thinking about right now is the Warhawk, which is selling for like $2,000 or more but you can almost never find it without that yellowing. When we look at the back of the shoe right here, of course it's covered in burlap, but then let's check out this plastic part here, shaped like a heart. It's one of my favorite features of the Air Max 90. This is such a great looking shoe. One of my favorite of all of the Air Max 90s for sure. Gorgeous. It's a shame that it was never on display in the shoeseum, but like I said, I wasn't about to display incomplete packs. We'll move the Air Max 90 out of the way and let's have a look at the third pair in the pack, which is the Air Burst, also known as the Air Max Burst. For some reason, Nike has called this shoe the Air Burst instead of Air Max Burst, even though Air Maxes are shoes with visible air windows. And of course, look at this visible air window. Gulf blue wraps all the way around the heel. The Air Burst really built on the Air Max 93, which was called the Air Max 270 because it featured 270 degrees of visible air on there. Now that was an upgrade from the Air Max 180 that featured 180 degrees of visible air going underneath the outsole. Now the main difference between these Air Bursts and the Air Max 93 or the 270 is actually the tongue right here. When you look at the tongue, you'll see that it's plush and pillowy. It's not a neoprene Hirachi-like tongue like what you'll see on the Air Max 93. Now remember when we were talking about Air Max 1s and how originally they had like a seam here and then the retros are plush and pillowy like this. This is sort of an example of what the modern day Air Max 1 plush tongues look like. These bursts are really underrated and under retroed. I wish Nike would bring them back, especially in the OG colors. The most desirable pair of air bursts ever to come out is the M&M Slim Shady collaboration, which was actually the first collaboration between M&M and Nike. A close second behind that pair is probably this pair, but it's very underrated and under retroed. Check out the Dubray right here that's gone yellow over time. That's another thing, you could look at this shoe and you could have looked at it all the way back in 2004 and you would know what part of the shoe is gonna go bad. Much like those Air Max 90s that we just looked at with the yellowing plastic up here, on this pair, we've got the yellowing Dubray. But it's inevitable, it really doesn't matter if you're a shoe collector, you sort of become accustomed to this. It is what it is. We gotta look underneath here at the outsole. Remember we were saying that it's got just the traditional gum outsole, not the 100% natural uncured latex that we saw on the Air Max ones. It would have been cool if they would have put that outsole on the 90s and the bursts, but what are you gonna do? They didn't do it. Look at this shoe, gorgeous. The burlap is just so nice and the suede. It's been a great pleasure introducing you to this Air Burst and to the whole pack of Air Max 1 Premium Crepes, Air Max 90 Premium Crepes, and Air Burst Premium Crepes. If you want to learn more about these shoes or check out some limited Air Max packs, go on and have a look at that 2013 Nice Kicks article. For now, it's been a great pleasure introducing you to this pack. I've got a lot more Air Max packs to come.